Today, I'm going to show a few unconventional uses of a stun gun. You can easily break any electronic device with the help of a stun gun, not leaving any traces of external damages. To do that, you need to know the weak points of that device. As you see, if you simply zap the display, nothing will happen. The weak points are buttons, cords and plugs. Let us see what will happen if we zap the TV with a stun gun. Let me zap the buttons. Oops. What is it? I don't know, the display is blurred and here is how it looks now. A stun gun can easily break any electronic device, a small memory card, an entire security camera system. Even an iPhone did not withstand the stun gun discharge. When the stun gun zapped the home button, the iPhone just broke down. Intercom? I think it is widely known that stun guns scare away dangerous dogs as well. Whereas it attracts cats and they respond by doing this. Cats, tell us why are you so attracted to firing stun guns and why do you show your tongue? Also, you can uncurl hedgehogs with stun guns. Hands of the hedgehog! <laughs> Using stun guns when fishing. You need to stick a stun gun to the handle of a fishing net this way, wrapping a piece of insulation tape around them. You need to connect a wire to the farthest electrode and ground it. Having submerged the fishing net into water, you can start fishing. Instead of scaring fish away, such a fishing net attracts them. <laughs> Even if you are more accustomed to fishing with a fishing line, such a fishing net will come in handy anyway. You can easily get warmth with it. Let us shove two steel poles into the ground, turning the tips of the poles together. Electricity applied to the ground will immediately force worms out of the ground. A stun gun is a way more effective than a shovel, because the fattest and the fastest worms hide deep in the soil when one is digging for them. Here is a real question. What will happen if one zaps a socket with a stun gun? Who will win? Thousands of stun gun volts or 220 volt sockets? Write your suggestions in the comments below or participate in the quiz. I will do that in the next video.